Inside the most expensive jewellery in the late Queen Elizabeth II's collection. Hey guys, today we're going to take a look inside the most expensive jewellery in the late Queen Elizabeth II's collection. Let's get right into it. Queen Elizabeth II had the world's most extensive and priceless jewellery collection when she died on September 8, 2022 at the age of 96. The jewellery collection of Queen Elizabeth II is believed to be worth more than $4 billion. Following her father's death in 1952, the Queen ascended to the throne and became the ruler of the British state and its sovereigns. The crown is noted for magnificent and costly goods such as the crown jewels, a large collection of wands, vestments and jewels that have frequently drawn so much attention. Some of her jewellery was inherited or given to her by previous monarchs. The Queen was famed for her gorgeous gowns, which she accessorized with matching jewellery. She was proud of her history and always adhered to a simple formula while embellishing an outfit. According to her jewellery, she adored her mother and the grandmothers who came before her. Let us examine Queen Elizabeth II's most expensive jewellery. The first is Queen Alexandra's wedding necklace, which cost $358,000. As a wedding gift, King Edward II gave this necklace to Queen Alexandra of Denmark. He also had the guards make him a tiara, a triple pearl brooch and a diamond earring set. This necklace was discovered by the Duchess of Cambridge during a state banquet in 2018. Then there's Queen Mary's $2.4 million diamond bandeau tiara. When Princess Mary married Prince George, Duke of York in 1893, the County of Lincoln presented her with this brooch. Her Majesty received the bandeau and brooch from Queen Mary. The brooch is famed for its Art Deco design and is worth $2.4 million. The tiara's design includes 11 platinum and diamond pieces interlaced with ovals and diamonds. Meghan Markle wore the tiara when she married Prince Harry, Queen Elizabeth's grandson, in 2018. There's also the $6 million Burmese rubies tiara. Her Majesty the Queen ordered this 96 ruby tiara from the House of Garand in 1973. The tiara was a bridal present to Her Majesty from the people of Burma as a symbol of protection against evil and sickness. There's also the $7.2 million Oriental Circlet Tiara. The Queen's Oriental Circlet Tiara is a valuable item of jewellery in Queen Elizabeth II's collection. It's worth more than $7.2 million according to estimates. The tiara was fashioned in 1853 for Queen Victoria by Prince Albert, Queen Elizabeth's great-great-great-grandfather. The tiara was originally made of 2,600 diamonds with opal embellishments, but Queen Alexandra eventually downsized it. Queen Mary, Queen Elizabeth, and Queen Elizabeth II afterwards inherited the crown. Because of its high worth as a showcase, Queen Elizabeth II only wore the Oriental Circlet tiara once. The tiara may now pass to Kate Middleton or Camilla Parker. There's also the Grand Duchess Vladimir tiara for $13 million. This tiara was a favourite of Queen Elizabeth. Queen Mary purchased the diamond tiara strung with pearls in 1921. She purchased the tiara for her daughter Queen Elizabeth, who later passed it on to her granddaughter Queen Elizabeth II. The tiara was manufactured in Russia and it is thought that the Russian royal family was forced to flee to London after the Russian Revolution. The Grand Duke Boris had someone sneak into Vladimir Palace and transfer all of the royal treasures, including the Grand Duchess Vladimir Tiara to London, where he was living in exile. Later, in order to maintain himself and his family financially, he auctioned off the jewels and Queen Mary, a jewellery connoisseur, purchased the tiara. The Grand Duchess Vladimir's tiara is one of the most exquisite in the world. She also possesses the Greville Emerald Kalashnikov tiara, which is valued at almost $13 million. The tiara was designed in 1921 for Dame Margaret Greville, who died in 1942 and offered the Queen Mother her jewellery. Boucheron, a jewellery firm, designed the Greville Emerald Kokoshnik to match the Russian Imperial Court's Kokoshnik style. There's also the $30 million Williamson diamond brooch. Queen Elizabeth's brooch has one of the world's most valuable pink diamonds. It is estimated to be worth $30 million, making it one of the most valuable items in the Queen's collection. Dr. John Thornburn Williamson, a Canadian geologist who discovered the rare pink diamond in the centre of this brooch, gave it to her as a wedding gift. Later, the Queen commissioned Cartier to design a jewel to draw attention to the pink gem and they created a diamond-shaped brooch about 4 inches long. They also made a flower with 5 petals and 2 flowers on each side. Over 200 diamonds are set in the entire piece. This brooch was worn by the Queen multiple times, including at her children's weddings and other state ceremonies. There's also the $79.8 million Nizam of Hyderabad necklace. Her Majesty the Queen's most valuable piece of jewellery is the Nizam of Hyderabad necklace, which was gifted to her in 1947. With an estimated worth of $79.8 million, this necklace is the most costly in the world, according to Jewellery Box UK. 
Asaf Jah VII, the Nizam of Hyderabad, gave the chain as a wedding gift. The little princess Cartier is reported to have been instructed by the Indian Nizam to choose anything from their collection, and she chose a tiara with three detachable flowers and a necklace. More than 50 diamonds are placed in platinum on the necklace. The queen wore the necklace before her coronation, as seen in numerous images, and recently lent it to the Duchess of Cambridge on multiple occasions. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.